This is a funny and charming story uh, when we talk about, in the past, the twilight of the elite. Chris Hayes, I'm sure, enjoyed this story. More than half of the roughly 125 Harvard University students investigated by the Harvard College's uh, Disciplinary Board for Cheating on a take-home exam last spring were forced to temporarily withdraw, school officials announced on Friday. Affected students have said that it amounted to two academic semesters for most of those kids. The students were accused of collaborating on the last of four take-home exams in the spring of 2012. The course, it was a lecture on government entitled Introduction to Congress. I guess it could be worse. They could have all gotten A's just because they cheated. Students were given a week to complete the exam. Suspicions were first made public last August when Harvard announced it was dealing with a cheating scandal of unknown scope. Now we know the scope. It's interesting because, you know, obviously at Harvard, at the college I attended, we had a uh, honor system. None of our, our uh, tests were proctored. And um, as one might imagine, I was involved in uh, student government and um, was privy to some of the goings-ons with the honor, uh, the student honor board, not, not any of the specifics, but in terms of general. And there was just not a high incidence of cheating at that school. I mean, there was some. There was cheating at every school. And I don't know that there was necessarily any less, but there certainly weren't numbers like that. Um, I think it's also indicative of what happens when you're in a high, sta uh, high stakes testing environment. Harvard, far more high stakes than uh, certainly the college I went to. Um, and it's uh, indicative of, uh, of a problem that we have in society. I mean, uh, this, I'm not saying that Harvard shouldn't have grades um, or high stakes testing, but it is a model for what can happen when you start to see uh, things like uh, the scandal coming out of Michelle Ray, the cheating that goes on in school systems so that they can get money to fund their school systems. This is an inevitability. And at the very least, when you see this going on at Harvard, it should be an indication of, uh, of a problematic methodology. But so... Um, there you go. Somebody's got to give these kids from Harvard a break. That's all I'm saying.